welcome to my sewing channel. Um, I'm Annette from Net Sews. This is my little channel about sewing and crafting and everything up to lately. So, and this is Woody. You probably you've all met Woody, have you not? So I'm in my sewing room again. Um, if you saw my vlog last weekend, I'd been to the sewing social. Um, had a lovely day, and yeah. I've put a vlog up about that. So, what have I been up to? I I actually finished this dress before I went to the social. I've had to finish both these dresses before I went to the social, actually. So I finished both these dresses before I went to the social. So this is, and I was wearing this in my vlog um, last week when I went to the social. So I wore this to go to the social. And it's really comfy, it's lovely. This is the Cielo from Closet Core. Um, I did it in a linen. It needs a wash, I've still not washed it. Um, <laughs> and I've not pressed it. Um, I was aware when I was wearing it, I got pointy nips where the darts were. But never mind, at least they were in the right place. Um, yeah, the pockets, it's got pockets, it's great. Um, the only thing was noticed actually my pockets may have come apart hopefully not the only thing was um it's a bit big made it a little bit big i don't know i've sized down and i'm making another one in another linen um yeah so i'm hoping that that will come up smaller this is a tad large and linen does tend to grow doesn't it when you wear it so by the end of the day i did feel like i was wearing a little bit of a sack but it's so comfortable and i do like it and i say i'm making another one I did show you in the last but one vlog, um, I'd had a Lamarzi fabric haul, which has just reminded me I've got some fabric to show you and I don't know where it is. Oh. Um, anyway, yeah, so I showed you uh, my Lamarzi fabric that I bought last time. So I've got a lovely elephant fabric and uh, in linen and it was three linens actually in a blue flowery linen and a coral linen. Um, so I'm making this in the blue flowery linen, 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 linen. So yeah, what else can I say about it? I did it. I added two inches onto the length, so it is past my knee. Um, yeah, I didn't want it above my knee. I don't know. I'm getting to that age now where I just want things a little bit longer. God, turning into my mother. Um, yeah, it was a bit of a pig to sew this was really and nothing to do with closet core at all it was all my fault you know when you just make mistakes and I kept making mistake after mistake after mistake and I tried it on and I've got so there's two pockets here and here and then my pocket was in the middle like a kangaroo <laughs> so I had to and I'd stitched it all up together so it was a right pain I had to undo all the side seams and and yeah sort the pockets out what else did i do wrong i think i sewed this back to front and yeah the shoulders i don't know i just got in the right muddle with it but say nothing to do with the closet core um pattern at all because um yeah it's just me i think i was just having a, a day so i've put a little label in on the outside the carly in the machines made it label and i love it so yeah i've got another one on the go so I'm pleased with that, even though it's a bit big, I don't care. Um, yeah, so this is the Southport dress by True Bias. And again, this is a bit big. And I'm not wearing a very good bra with it, really. Um, I've got a mark on it there. Not really. <laughs> you can see my bra. <laughs> if I keep still, you can't see it too bad. But yeah, you can see my bra. Um, so yes, I've sized down again. Well, I'm not making another one yet, but I have, I've sized the pattern down. So as I remember to... Uh, to make this a little bit smaller i got two meters of this fabric and this was from um, the swaps table at the staffordshire social so i've got two meters and i managed to squeeze two meters out of it um what did i want to say it's got pockets it's really nice my friend heather she does a false tab here and she doesn't put the button well she puts the buttons on but she doesn't do buttonholes i might do that next time because you don't need to actually undo the buttons to get it on um so yeah instead of having to fiddle about with buttonholes i don't know i'll see so as i said i've got two meters of this fabric and i managed to squeeze two meters i managed to squeeze it out of the two meters i had to shorten it um i will pop a picture in because i took a picture of me in it now um 
and I'll stand up in a sec and see if you can see me on the video and if not I'll cut that bit out so what else can I what was I going to say about it oh yeah but I couldn't get the tie so it's got it's you put a waistband uh, in it and you have a tie I couldn't get that out of the material so I've had to do just an elastic waist but I'm quite happy with it so I will stand up hopefully you'll be able to see if I do a bit of a twirl can you see me I'll cut this out if you can't see me yes yeah, it's a bit it's just a bit big and the bra doesn't help really excuse me woods oh yeah, the bra doesn't really help, but never mind. <laughs> it's a comfy bra and it's hot. hot. It's been hot, so. What else do I want to say? That's it, really. I haven't got a lot um, sewing-wise. I've been making pin cushions. You've seen my pin cushions before, so this is my goose one. I've got to finish it off. And I did a little tutorial. Well, not a tutorial, I just did a little... Um, how I make how I do the free motion quilt um technique. It was only a five minute vlog I popped on in my YouTube channel, so if you wanted to watch that. But yeah, that's my goose one. I think I like that one the best. I've got a chicken. I've shown you these before. Oh my owl, I still haven't turned my owl the right way out to show you. Um yeah, anyway, so I've been making pink cushions and I'll tell you what I'm reading. I've got my Kindle with me this time, let's turn it on. So I'm reading Leanne Moriarty, The Last Anniversary. Now, I usually like her books, and I'm not saying I don't like it. It's a bit strange. I don't know. I'm sticking with it. I think it's okay. But I don't know. I enjoyed the last one I was just reading, the uh, Evie, Evie Chase one, was it? That was really good. But yeah, I'll stick with that. It's just a bit strange. I don't know. I can't describe. I'll just get my, um, my fabric haul that I want to show you. You're bored, Woods. <coughs> you gonna say hello? Me? You gonna say hello? Can I look in here? No, no, it's not bothered. So I think I mentioned last time that um I have been watching Adam So I'm a bit a bit disjointed today, aren't I? I can't seem to get into the flow. I don't know why, sorry, I do apologise. Um yeah, so I've been watching a lot of Adam So's videos and I've been doing quilting, I've been doing my hand finishing my quilt for my son and I've been hand sewing that um and when I watched one of Adam Sew's vlogs I don't I think it was around the time of the yeah it was it was his um festival of quilts one because he held up some material that he bought and I I just saw it and I thought oh, I need that in my life and then it made it even worse that he said it's hard it's hard to get now it's out of print or call it that when when it's fabric you can't get it anyway so i managed to get some so i don't open it with you i've not opened this yet so i went to the fabric yard and i managed to find some so i'm quite excited so i've sit on this all week so excuse the rustling let's open it this is all adam's fault as soon as i saw this material i just thought oh, i've got to have that in my life so let's have a look Thought it was the wrong thing then. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Have I got it the right way around? <gasps> yes. So as I say, this is all Adam's fault because I saw it and I just love zebras. I love elephants. Yeah, anything safari-ish really floats my boat. There's a little panda on it, look. Isn't that cute? I thought it was going to be white actually, but it's like a mint colour, unless it's the light shining in here. But yeah, I love that. That's so nice. How much did I order? Uh, yeah, two metres. That's right. So it's sketchy paper, Tula pink. So it's Tula pink fabric and it's called sketchy paper. <laughs> so I want to make a, a blouse with that. So it's lovely. Adam's made a bag. I think he's made a shirt as well. But yeah. And while I was on there, as you do, I saw this. And as you know, I'm learning to play the piano. So 
so I just thought this was quite apt and I got that no idea what I'm going to do with it maybe make a bag we will see how much of that did I get um I only got half a meter of that I don't know what well, maybe I'll just yeah but yeah no, lovely so I'm pleased with that and some white cotton because you can always do with white cotton that's just a polyester thread so, so that's my fabric haul this week that's lovely I have actually got the bias tape appreciation society to show you as well bear with right I'm back sorry about that to keep it just in this top um yeah so my bias tape appreciation society has come as well so I thought I'd open that with you yeah let's have a look I don't, know. I don't know if I missed the last one of this. I've had my post redirected, but I think I, uh, I think I may have lost it. But anyway, so you ready? <gasps> oh, it's lovely. It's yellow. Oh, that's nice. Little, uh, little sunshines. Oh, that's really cute. I like that. Thank you, Specky Seamstress. Nothing else in there. I'm going to pop it back in the box. So yes, that's my two uh, two purchases this week. Oh no, three purchases actually. Let me show you these. I mentioned last time I spoke to you, or the time before, that I'd ordered some colouring books and they've arrived. It's not for colouring, it's for my free motion embroidery. So I've got this one. It's got big animals in it. <gasps> Look at that. Giraffe. Giraffe, zebras, elephants. I love them. And then I've got two little pocket ones. <laughs> so I thought they'd be kind of like pin cushion size and then <laughs> went a bit crazy animal adventures that's got rabbits and fishes and all sorts in birds some walrus alligators won't be doing that one um, yeah lots in that one and then another one the woodland wild so those have arrived this week as well so I'm really pleased with those. So while I've got a minute, I'm going to crack on with some uh, free motion embroidery. So um, that might be it or it might not. I might add a little bit on the end if I think of anything else that I haven't told you. Um, but for now, that's it. So thank you for watching. Um, thank you for subscribing and thank you for any comments. I do appreciate it and happy sewing. Bye.
you see it? Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Do, do. All right, Woody, come here. Come here. Come here. Turn around. Oops. Sit down. Sit. 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 Right, are you ready? I'm going to talk. You ready? Sit. No, sit. Okay, a bit closer. How's that? Hello, 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 hello. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Okay, is that better? Is that better? Right, I'll just check I'm in the right place. La la la.